Hi, this is Craig Kreskis. I'm a partner technical architect at Microsoft in the United States OCP or One Commercial Partner Organization. This is part one of a three part series on how to integrate Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics 365 Sales. Today, and in this session, what I'll do is I'll just cover on the optimization and how to create trial accounts. So that'll be session number one. Then for session number two, I'll go into the role of a sales representative and a finance manager and demonstrate how these two applications work in synchronicity. And then in session number three, what I'll do is review with you the configuration integration and also next actions for you to follow up. So that is a three part series. And so for the first part, I just want to make sure that you know how to configure the correct environments by creating trial accounts that you have as a partner. So I would begin by navigating to the cdx.transform.microsoft.com website. You'll sign in as a partner with your credentials. And up at the top, you see where it's highlighted with the red arrow, you'll select my environments. And again, I for purposes of just reminding you how to get to the website, it's up at the top of the page. When you select on environments, by default, you'll have the quick tenant and the 90 day period set up for you. And then scroll down the page to about the middle of the page. And here you'll see an environment that includes Dynamics 365 Sales, Customer Service, Customer Insights, and it's titled Customer Engagement. We'll go ahead and select that tenant. This will take just a moment to configure and provision. Once that's done, you'll be prompted with a page that confirms your environment along with the admin details. So that'll include the admin username, the email, and also the password. What I would recommend you do is copy that and paste it either into some electronic format for record keeping. I use Notepad and you could use OneNote, Word, whatever it is that you prefer, just so that you know where those uh, username and passwords are. You can always go into the admin uh, credentials and change the passwords for future just to make it easier to log in and log out. Now that I have the admin user for my customer engagement environment, again for sales, the next step I want you to do is to create a trial account for Business Central. To perform this, you'll navigate to trials.dynamics.com, but I want to make sure that you navigate in an in private or some incognito browser if you're using Chrome. So again, either in private or incognito, because we want to make sure that you separate the credentials of that admin user from the credentials that you have stored on your local laptop, on your domain that you're connecting to your network. Once you're there, again, navigate to trials.dynamics.com and then select on Business Central. So choose Business Central. Then you'll paste in that work email from the administrative user that you just created. Enter in a phone number and then choose get started. And then just follow the prompts on your screen. It'll recognize the username. You'll select next. You'll sign in. Again, follow the prompts, paste in your password, which you had saved previously select sign in 
select yes to stay logged in next and then get started now this could take anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds it doesn't take very long and once it's done you'll have an environment for Dynamics 365 Business Central. Close that out for now. And then you've got, again, your environment here set up. Now to confirm that you have both Business Central and Sales configured in the same environment, from that same in-private browser that you used to configure and sign up for Business Central, Go ahead and then log into home.dynamics.com. And then what I like to do is pin the apps. So you can pin Business Central and you pin that app. And then if you scroll down a little bit lower, you can pin the Sales Hub as well. And then you can see here you've got Business Central and Dynamics 365 sales configured in the environment, in the same tenant in the same environment. So that's going to wrap up part one of the series on just how to create trial accounts for both Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics 365 sales. I'll be back again to talk about the other steps and how we integrate the two applications.